Hello and welcome back to another Fred in the Shed video. I hope you're all keeping well. Lots of colds and nasty things going about at the moment. So on this video, we are going to be using and testing this antenna. This is a 152 foldable tactile antenna, military style antenna sent in from TID Radio. This is the longest mobile antenna that uh, I've ever used. It's 48 centimetres long, which is about 19 inches when it's fully extended. Fits onto this radio, we're using the TID H8 because I'm going for maximum distance on this video. I'm trying to get the furthest PMR distance contact that I've uh, ever attempted before. So I'm gonna be using a powerful radio. The antenna itself, it's not expensive, comes in from TID Radio, it's uh, $6.99, which is £5.67. pence. I imagine there's a couple of quid postage. And there it is, fully extended. Quite a thing, isn't it? Totally flexible as well. You can fold this in half, or I believe you can fold it three to three times down. It's quite interesting. Um, I looked into it, and inside this piece of heat shrink, it's just the same construction as you get in a measuring tape, you know, these steel measuring tapes, a slightly curved piece of steel basically, which bends like that, which you can bend forward and bend back. Very, 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 very clever. I think there's a loading coil as well in this section, in the bottom section. As far as the packaging goes, well, you don't really get a lot. You just get this green plastic bag. There is a couple of rubber washers that I think might fit between this and the radio. I, I didn't bother with those, but you might need them for waterproofing. Also on the website, um, they're the packaging, they show printing on their packaging. I didn't get any printing, but there is printing on the antenna, which means this is a genuine TID radio antenna. I would always recommend going with the genuine antenna because it's really not, not any more expensive than some of the cloned antennas, but you've got to be careful with SWR some of the cloned antennas can be direct shorts or some may not even have the loading coil in the bottom and you're risking heating the radio, the transistors, the finals in the radio will heat up. So I would always, I just say go for the, go for the standard uh, antenna. Now TID radio say that you get 2.15 decibel gain with this antenna, but we're going slightly outside the frequency because you know we're a little bit naughty on Fred in the Shed. So this, this antenna is tunable from I think 144 to 430, yeah, 430 megs. We're pushing it up to the 446. I have to say at this stage, using this radio with this antenna is not type approved for PMR. You do so at your own risk. Let me get that clear. So what I'm hoping to do on this video, and I'm really not sure whether it's gonna to come together, is in a moment we're gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna to chat to the guys on the 305. I've already spoken to them the other day. And then I'm gonna walk out from the house, go to my normal perch, and then try and talk to Richard and Dan who are in Hatfield. And that's about seven kilometers from that flyover. So it's quite a distance for a built up area, not so much if you was out in the open. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna be doing. And I'll explain that as I go along. Let's hopefully it doesn't rain because it always rains when I go outside, but let's crack on with that and see if this works. Sixteen sixty-four. Fred in the shed calling out. Hello there, Dan. Uh, good off or good morning to you. He's busy, really. Lots of roadworks in Potter's Bar. Wait on the side. Good morning, mate. I trust you well. Yeah, not too bad, mate. Literally walked in the door five minutes ago. Yeah, I've not been in long, as I say, fighting with the uh, roadworks. OK, well, I guess we'll get the show on the road. So... Um, you, you're going to be um, accused of corn if you're walking, is that right? Pretty much. Um, I'll, I'll try the first shout from the flyover. 
and that's going to take me just over 10 minutes to get there and then from there if I don't if I don't get you on the flyover which I don't think I will I'm going to walk up the uh up the bike up the 414 towards Hatfield and I'll I'll sort of try every 5 minutes or so uh and as I say if you don't hear anything Say to a point, you know, about quarter to twelve. I reckon that I should be at putting my furthest point. So if it, if you haven't heard by quarter to twelve, it hasn't worked. But uh, we'll give it a go anyway. Right, okay, Richard, you got that, yeah? Okay, uh, Richard, did you get that? Okay, um, I'll leave you with the rather rude uh, foreign person that's going over. So, I right, hopefully catch you on PMR. Okay, Fred, cheers for now. 73. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, I've I've had com on channel twelve, Richard. That's why I've gone to thirteen. All right, we go on thirteen. Yeah, one one five six two five. Roger that, mate. Roger that. Dan, you must be out here then as well, mate. There's three little children chatting on channel twelve. All right, so here we are then. Firstly, I apologise about the noise. Traffic noise, wet roads, we've got a storm coming in tomorrow into the UK. So there might be a bit of wind noise. But anyway, this is my usual perch. In that direction is Hatfield, and that is where Richard and Dan are waiting for me on air. That is about seven kilometers, seven kilometers from this direction here. I'm gonna try and get a contact in a second here I don't think I'll make 7k on 446 if I do get a contact I will head in that direction to the next flyover and that's about eight and a half kilometers so yeah we're about four and a half miles from the uh, from the guys I'm gonna move away from the road a little bit it might be a bit quieter and I'm gonna give a shout out and see if they can hear me yeah, Richard or Dan, Richard or Dan on channel 13. Do you have a copy on Fred in the Shed? Fred in the Shed, giving you a shout. Roger that there, Fred. Roger that there, Fred. I've got you. And uh, that's a, I'm using a Quanshang UVK5. Quanshang UVK5. But being a little bit noisy with an external antenna, my friend. Nice to have your contact. Nice to speak to you on PMR there, Richard. Yeah, I've got you no problem. Um, at seven kilometers at 7k I got you no problem at all so I think I'm gonna walk out further I'm gonna walk out to about eight and a half kilometers Roger Roger that there Fred Roger that and uh, I managed to get a signal report from you there my friend and you uh, was an S3 S3 and a radio 4 okay Richard I'll call you at 8.5k, Rog. Well, how about that? So we've got him no problem. So that's seven kilometres. Absolutely no trouble at all. Going to move out to uh, 8.5k now. And uh, yeah, it means I don't have to walk to Hatfield. So noisy up here. So let's head down that direction. Uh, catch me at the next flyover. i made up. Right, I hope you can hear me over the noise. We've walked up from that direction. I reckon it's about another kilometre and a half. And it's uphill, hence I'm a little bit out of breath. So yeah, this is about eight and a half K to Hatfield over there. So we're gonna give another shout out to Richard. I don't know if it'll make it. And uh, it's raining again. Why does it always rain when I do radio outdoor videos? But anyway. <laughs> Let's give Richard a shout and see what we get. Yeah, Richard, I have a copy on you. I have a copy on you. Fred, returning to you. Wow, I'm not quite sure where you are, but you are not a million miles off the end of the end stop on my little handheld here. Oh, cheers buddy, um, I've just gone past Owlets, so I'm about 8.5k 
eight and a half K from uh, your location back up on the flyover you probably can hear the traffic so yeah I think I've got away from a lot of infrastructure that might have helped Roger yep Roger that there friend no problems at all and you are a crystal clear radio 5 Thank you very much Richard, I'll, uh, I'll take those flowers any day of the week. So this military style TID radio antenna, I mean it does the business buddy doesn't it? I mean I can't complain at that, eight and a half kilometres from you Rog. Roger that there Fred, I say so it's an absolute cracking radio flight my friend, no problems at all there. Far better copy than the previous one we just had and yeah I couldn't knock that at all. I've been a little bit naughty my end, a Quanshang UVK5 hooked up to a, uh, a diamond antenna outside on a bar, so I've run it and hit it. Because without that I wouldn't stand it. Thank you Richard, I just lost you a little bit at the end there, just a little bit of local interference. But you're working, yeah, really, really well. I'm very impressed. Um, this could be something for the future, I think, from our locations on uh, PMR. Maybe with an outdoor antenna or something. But anyway, Rich, I'm going to start walking back because it's, um, it's raining now and I'm getting a bit wet. I'd like to thank you very much for helping me on the video. And uh, I'll catch you on the 305 this afternoon if you're available, Roger. Roger that there, Fred, and you just come up on my little signal meter on this radio, you're fully end-stopped on my radio, and a BBC quality Radio 5. Oh, cheers, Richard. Well, that's, uh, that's, that's made my day from 8.5k. <laughs> All right, buddy, as I say, thank you, uh, thank you again, and I'll catch you later on the 305 um, if you're around. But uh, 73s, buddy, thank you for helping me with the video. No problem, sir, Fred. Uh, Dan is still with us, but he's only on a little uh, rubber duck antenna. Uh, I don't know whether he'll hear you, but we'll ask Dan what he's about. Dan, can you hear, Fred? Uh, Fred, Dan says he can hear you on the rubber duck antenna on the radio, on the handheld that he's on, and he wants to try giving you a two way before you disappear. Oh, cheers, Richard. Yeah, I've got a voice pattern on him. Um, yeah, just, just a voice pattern from my end there. Uh, know that he was there. I've got so much traffic noise because it's the road's wet and we've got police going up and down the road. But yeah, I could probably do it if I was in a quieter location, Roger. Roger that there, Fred. Did you get that, Dan? Right, I hope it's just a little bit quieter here. So to sum that up, um, I've come out about a kilometre and a half further, but the, uh, Richard was getting me even clearer. He's using an outdoor antenna, and Dan was using a small handheld, might have been a UV5R, with a small rubber ducky, and he was also hearing me. I could get a voice pattern on him, but couldn't quite do the two-way, but it was, as you heard, very, very busy here, really busy. But yeah, I mean, I'm really, I'm really pleased with that. Eight and a half kilometres, five point something miles. I know it's not a lot, and I know some of you are going to say that's nothing, but it's a very intense built-up area. Lots of lampposts, lots of cars and things. And uh, I'm, I'm rather impressed with that, even though it's a powerful radio. Anyway, I'm getting rather wet, <laughs> and I've got... I've got a long walk home, so uh, I'm going to get back home and I'll finish the conclusion in the uh, in the shack. Cheers. Yeah, Richard or Dan, Richard or Dan on channel 13. Do you have a copy on Fred in the shed? Fred in the shed, giving you a shout. <laughs> Um, at 7 kilometres, at 7k, I got you no problem at all, so 
I think I'm going to walk out further. I'm going to walk out to about eight and a half kilometres, Roger. on this as such, but uh, yeah, you're about a radio three to four, radio three to four on the tip radio, so fantastic. Okay, going to uh, head up towards uh, the garden centre outlet. I'll give you another shout from the other flyover, 8.5k, roger and out. <laughs> back up on the flyover, you probably can hear the traffic. So, yeah, I think I've got away from a lot of infrastructure. That might have helped, Roger. Thank you very much, Richard. I'll, uh, I'll take those flowers any day of the week. So this military-style TID radio antenna I mean, it does the business, buddy, doesn't it? I mean, I can't complain at that. Eight and a half kilometres from you, Rog. Well, we're back up in what I would like to say is a warm shack, but it's not, I'll, I'll be lying. It is actually cold up here, but it's dry. Thank God it's dry. Why is it every time recently when I go out to do a video, radio testing or something, even in the garden, it rains? Never mind. back to the video. I was impressed. I was impressed with the reception and also the transmit on this antenna. Bearing in mind, we are pushing it beyond its limits. So I imagine the SWR isn't perfect, but it did the job. I also, this time, included the other little TID radio, the H3. I put that indoors just so you could um, hear the difference because although that radio is indoors and with a standard antenna, it's closer to Richard in Hatfield than I was out on the bridge on the on the bypass and I was only getting a voice pattern on that radio but I could hear him pretty much clear as a bell over the noise but on the other radio so it just shows you the performance of the antenna yeah I think it's good I mean I really do this um, disadvantage is well it's just a size really isn't it I mean it's 48 centimeters long 19 inches I mean you do you do stand out a bit when you're uh, when you're transmitting like I was on that especially that first bridge I had a couple of people walk past and you get some funny looks if you're going to be buying this because you're trying to get onto a PMR net or something you're, you're going to be walking out or driving out somewhere a little bit secluded up on the high ground it won't really matter but yeah, if you're thinking of using this in a built up area, it, it does make you it does make you stand out. And that's really about it. I mean, it's cheap. It's less than six pounds plus a little bit of delivery. If you're interested, you want to check it out further. As always, there is a link in the description. If you use that link, it will take you straight to the TID Radio website and you get a genuine item then. And that's it. If you could give the video a thumbs up, if it's been enjoyable or useful to you, I would appreciate that before you go. But as always, please, please, please look after each other, stay safe, stay warm, and of course, I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers, guys. Friends in the shed, where the magic unfolds. Fred in the shed. His trusty CB He's a friend to the lonely On a frequency